Good evening, everybody. Jay the Builder. Uh, first off, we want to wish you guys, of course, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Uh, we're going into the new year. Uh, this is our first actual building review for the year, and of course, it would be the modular building that came out New Year's Day. It did take us a couple days, holidays and everything going on to work. However, to me, as a, as a collector, this building was pretty sweet in, in building. Uh, the colors are definitely different. Some of the aspects that are in this building are a little bit different than traditional, but there's also some things that are the same as well. For those of you that build cities and you do things with a Lego city or you just like the buildings in general, this is an awesome collection to have. Uh, for those of you that have not had a chance to look at it yet, this P this unit is actually twenty, almost 2,900 pieces. Um, it is a standard building size. If you're on a Mills plate, of course, it's, it's one plate, so it kind of goes right along with all the other modular series, but it is a really cool addition to have to your Lego city. All right, everybody, so this is the Jazz Club in its entirety completed. Uh, as you notice, some of the details and the definitely the building face, um, a little more elaborate. The signage actually protrudes out, so it looks legit like a like, like a club. Um, plants and everything in the windowsills, a uh, really cool aspect to it. Not only that, but like I said, some of the tiles on the floor, a uh, very cool look. Uh, you got posters, you got things of a traditional club, so... Another thing you really want to pay attention to, if you look at the windows, they're stained on the set. So, detail is definitely coming out. There is definitely some changes when they did it. Um, but then you also look at the pizzeria, and you notice there's some other aspects that are now starting to come out too. Windows are a little different and traditional. Architecture is also becoming a big piece of these modular buildings, so it really makes it stand out. Um, if you have the other ones, if you're a big collector, of course, then the color definitely pops. Something that hasn't changed. Uh... Pay attention, this is actually a Mills plate, so these pieces didn't come with it. However, the road pieces, those typically, um, previous sets are the same. So those, they haven't changed a lot. Uh, it did come with a bike, so there's the bike. We have it kind of laid down. But um, lamps and everything, you know, the standard, standard model. Um, just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a feature heads up. Most of your modulars have these little div divisions that you can lift up and, and show inside. Uh, this particular one, with it being two, they have an interlocking piece that's in here. It makes it a little more difficult to kind of go through and show off. So we may do that at a later time, uh, mainly though because of the complexity of the building. Uh, I don't want it falling apart. We haven't really tested it out yet, but we did want to show off what the building effect looked like with it being completed. When you're looking at the windows, however, windows, of course, fit this, the traditional building for what they were doing. Actually, a back door in this one, which is pretty cool. Um, but again, consistency, right? So we look at the modulars and, and how they go, and most of them have been the, this traditional way. Uh, we also noticed something new, vents. So I don't know if any other building set has had it. I, we could be wrong, but it's the first time I've seen them, at least on a building. So something neat and new to look at. Look at the ceilings. They are in traditional form, of course. Uh, you do have this little piece right here that will open if I can get the camera on it and get my hand on it. Um, really neat aspect, of course, to so get to the rooftop. Of course, animals are coming with it. And, of course, the chimney. So that chimney is attached to a wooden oven for the pizzeria down below. Um, that's inside, which we'll show in a different view. <clears throat> this one actually does come with minifigs. So this one in particular, uh, kind of my favorite. It's the first time I've seen them make a case for the instrument. And the instrument, of course, it ain't going to fit in there. But uh, something interesting to know that he can actually wear it. So he can carry it around the case and the instrument. Of course, we have these two, three guys. And then we have these three. And the chef at the very end. Uh, that is actually a magician. The magician came with that little rose hat that we had behind it. The rose hat doesn't have a place really to be put. It don't have a way of attaching. So... Um, we did kind of just roll with it and kind of kept her here. We have them on display here so we can kind of show you what each of them look like. Really, uh, really valuable uh, minifigs. Kind of generic, but I mean, considering what, what it's going to for a jazz club, I thought it was really cool. Uh, the main thing in building this, just so everyone's aware, uh, when you get to bag 12 and 13, so the windows are in one bag. Um, they split the direction between bags 12 and 13. So if you do get this set, you get stumped on bag 12 and you can't find six windows, 
Uh, if you move the bag, I'm pretty sure it was 13 that we noticed. Bag 13 has all the windows. So don't panic. Um, I think it was just maybe either misprint in the bags or misprint in the book. But um, all the pieces are there. Just don't panic because you'll start freaking out. There's quite, I think it's two or three pages of instructions that's missing pieces only because the pieces are in another bag. But other than that, um, really cool build. Awesome to go with the collection. Of course, uh, we're going to be putting it in our Lego City. Uh, I have no clue where we're going to put it yet, but um, just to kind of give you a recap of everything, um, this build for us, did, like I said, it's a couple days. Uh, we do have family and things going on, so work didn't really help the matters in time. But um, as you can see, it is a very durable set. Um, Build-wise, it was really cool to build. Uh, interior, what I could get off and show you. Um, really cool on the inside as well very detailed uh but i mean it's a you know traditional modular so first set for 2023 i hope you like it i hope you build it um by all means comment let us know uh if you see anything that you noticed or if you see anything that, that i may have missed because god forbid we miss a lot of stuff but uh the whole point of it is to kind of help you out and see what we can do to help and and join up to the community so uh by all means like us share us whatever you need to do um but also, you know, let us know if there's something else we can point out or if there, maybe we're missing something that we don't know. But um, very cool build, very awesome addition to the, to the LEGO City. Uh, probably this week we will we'll show where it's going. So a lot of pieces, um, not not a small build, definitely definitely a modular build in, in, in just traditional sense. Once again, guys, thank you. We appreciate it. We'll be putting this up there and then we'll throw it on the vlog and see uh, where exactly we're going to tie this into. But... By all means, we thank you guys for reviewing it.